everyone welcome back to my latest top traps competition so this is going to be my version two so the second one the prizes are going to be a little bit bigger but this one's going to be anonymous voting so i'm not going to tell you who the trap is until after the voting is done if you guys follow their channel or know who they are you might know but i'm not going to tell you in the video so this can be trap number one so after the video uh go vote on the poll on my community tab i will show you how to vote after the video anyways but go vote there and for your favorite top trap and the uh, top two will go on to the final video just like last time so the first one is going to be a uh, solo trap taking a massive 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 gangbang uh actually two of them you'll, you'll get to see the second one later but this is gonna be the first one it's from the kys uh family guild uh so they're quite strong and there's some really good hitters here and you get to see that actually after we show the reports but this one is the gangbang here so the trap is quickly healing as much as possible there's only a couple coming in now so what he's going to do is uh try and random away and take the last couple because he should be able to take those because uh, I think they're sending cab and he's sitting in range so it was actually not too bad but we'll take a look at the first reports um, what he took he's gonna throw the ante just so they, they don't know what he has first but we'll take a look. He looks like he has 11 prisoners. Uh, so he probably had one before. That's why they went in for the gangbang. So um, he has he got about 10 hits here. And we'll take a look here. So the first guy uh, went cav. Didn't do too much damage to him. Again, uh, he is sitting in range Falonix. So only the infantry are going to be doing any... Uh, what's called significant amount of damage but you can see they have all decent gear too so it's not like they're uh really bad attackers doing no damage they actually are quite good uh what's called leads and stuff if you want to like pause the video and look at it a little more uh, closely i did speed it up just because i do have five other people in this video so i can't be slowing it down here because uh the first clip is seven minutes long even though i sped it up like this so i'll take a look at this that guy was actually really good he did the most damage again um he had double tier five familiars went full counter so um, the damage was much higher than the other guys, but uh, they're, I mean, you, you can't have like 20 rally leads in a uh, guild unless you're against like uh, one of the huge titan guilds or something like that. But uh, so he went offline actually, and then this happened. So this was during uh, KVK, he decided to go offline, maybe it was on his alt or something like that. Came back on and guess what? There was like 25 people walking towards him with a rally set behind it. So he was lucky and got on right in time because the rally only had about a minute left. So um, you can see he still has all the leaders here. Uh, they're trying to free their leader here. So what they're doing is the gangbang from far away and then setting a rally uh, behind that. So he either has to pour it away right now, uh, shield, or take the rally. So if you're a soul trap, you basically have two, two uh, options. You're either going to pour it away or, uh, or shield. And uh, he decides, our trap number one here decides to do the uh, first one. He decides to pour it away with all 25 marches. He's just going to make sure they're not all leader marches because 25 leader marches could get you zeroed if you decide to part away with those. But uh, thankfully, not all 25 of these were leader marches. There's a lot of leader lists, and the leader list marches aren't going to do very much damage to the trap. It's only those leader marches, but you can see his might is dropping down. So he did drop down about uh, 15 million might. Um, again, he does have 600,000 infirmaries, so that probably is only about 10 million might. Uh, 5 million of it, it's going to be in his infirmary, so... Um, apparently the uh, game decided to lag because uh, with all those hits coming in and him uh, taking them all, I guess uh, the server was getting a little bit of lag there from that. So it was crazy that he was making this, the server lag there. So there you go. Finally, the migration is over. He can actually port away now. Um, he did cancel the rally, but you can see there's still a little bit of lag going on here. Um, they're all KYS leaders, so he literally has like half the guild in his uh, in his prison right now. A couple of them did get the what's called Hell Drider, unfortunately, so they got their leader back, but most of them he did cap. We'll take a look at here. Uh, that was a range blast, didn't do too much damage to him. Again, uh, most of these weren't aren't doing too much damage to him. I think the uh, main rally leads went in the first gangbang, so uh, the second gangbang wasn't too bad, which was good because again he didn't heal in between any of those. He poured away and took all twenty five hits. It's all at once here, um, and obviously that was going to do some damage, because once your infirmaries fill up, there's nothing you can do. You can't heal, so all the rest are actually just deads, but again, it wasn't too bad. 
Uh, he lost about, uh, I think, 10 mil might in the gangbang. Uh, so that's just over a million tier two, but uh, it's actually completely worth it um, because in the end here, he does get a bunch of ransoms and stuff. And we'll see that at the end, how much he actually, actually, I don't know if I actually showed it in this video. Anyways, he got, I think he got 550,000 uh, gems. So um, it was totally worth it because he can heal back all those uh, tier two pretty easily with those 550k gems. Plus he got all these free kills and you get a nice video out of it. So um, again, we'll go through all the reports here and see all the hits, but Again, I sped the uh, I sped the reports up here. So if you want to slow it down and watch all the reports and see what actually happened, you can. But um, again, I will be uh, telling you whose videos these were after the uh, the voting is done as well, so you can go actually look at the original video because I don't think he sped it up as much as I did. So uh, again, yeah, you can see uh, these leaderless hits are not doing very much damage. The leader hits do a little bit of damage, but again, um, still out. That guy got his leader back, unfortunately, but. Um, that one actually did a decent amount of damage. Um, but again, uh, that one probably did a little bit of damage. Yeah, 500,000. Again, that was the infantry hit. So the full count... Oh, that was tier 5 as well. Double tier 5 familiar. So again, that one's going to do a little bit more damage. Uh, leaderless hits are literally doing nothing. Um, some of these guys don't have the best attacks. They're only doing like 80,000. So uh, not big losses there. But yeah, I guess well, actually a lot of loss, his losses were from that single one guy who had the uh, infantry blast, who had that decent in infantry blast. The other guys weren't doing crazy mounts. Even this guy, full mythic, only 130,000 damage. Uh, not too bad. Uh, again, these uh, like leaderless or leader, like yeah, that one leaderless hit, not really doing too much damage to him. Um, this one, yeah, 2,000 damage. So uh, they're just throwing away tier 4 at this point. Uh, don't bother sending a leader or a what's called leaderless hits in a gangbang like this, you're literally doing no damage to the trap. You're doing like 2,000 and you're losing like 100,000 tier 4. Uh, that's not really worth it to you. I mean, it might be worth it for the scare factor of porting away, uh, like uh, what was going on there, but if the trap kind of goes through all the ports and sees that most of them are leaderless, he's probably going to port away anyways, because uh, um, any, any good trap like... Uh, our trap here would know that those leaderless hits are not going to do very much damage so um again yeah amazing job to our trap number one so that was trap number one so we will be going into more traps here so this is gonna be trap number two so trap number two is a different type of trap so normally um you do not see tier three rally traps but this is a tier three rally trap so it's a really interesting trap uh, again we're starting with the rally right away but you can see his gear is amazing so he's got Full mythic gear on his uh, 226 million might tier three so or uh, not solo trap. I keep saying solo trap. It's a rally trap. Um, again, um, this is tier. This is trap number two. I will put the timestamps for all the traps today. So if you guys want to know what trap was which, um, I will timestamp them, and you can just go straight to them. See which trap you like the best. Um, I think there's a little bit of lag going on there, so. Apparently every time that lag comes up, the, uh, the, the what's called, uh, quality goes down. So sorry about the quality here, um, again, but that's just kind of what happened. So I'm not sure if, if it was record or his internet going down, but yeah, there was a little bit of lag spike there. Again, he did, uh, he does have 643,000 infirmaries, so able to take that again. This guy is a really good rally lead. You can see that full mythic other than that one gold cup. He was able to cap the leader here, only take 100,000 uh, losses from that, um, and I, does he? Yeah, I think he's running, uh, yeah, he's running, uh, double tier five familiars on his, uh, trap here, but you can see he's running tier three, tier two, so he's not a, uh, he's not a tier four rally trap, he's a tier three rally trap, so full rally trap, uh, full rally trap comp, um, has about a million, or just over a million, uh, tier three, and then, uh, the rest is tier two, um, he's taking tier two, uh, what's called reinforcements, because he's uh, just testing out his trap, because normally if he's not in a kingdom with his guild, uh, he won't be getting reinforcements. So he's just taking the tier two for uh, basically uh, just just to make sure that he can test his comp and make sure it actually works. Um, normally you would take tier four for more damage, but in this case, he's actually taking the tier two to uh, basically test it out. So there's going to be an infantry blast coming in this time. He's going to be switching over to uh, Cav uh, and porting away and taking that. Unfortunately for him, uh, the guy's Helldrider pops. That's the worst feeling when you're a trap like this. When that guy's Helldrider pops, you're just like, no, I had him, I had him, I had him. And then he then he uh, gets his leader back. You're like, damn it. Um, so... 
it's not it's not usually worth it when the leader comes back like that but uh it's, it's fun to take it you still get a bunch of free kills anyways because they're sending again they're sending tier four at you you're just losing a little bit of tier two it's totally worth it for traps most of the time to take those um unless they black wing but <laughs> so uh, again uh he did do a little bit more damage uh ain's own goal Ains own goal gown. Ains 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 old gown. Uh, was the uh, rally lead here uh, from Overlord here. Um, again, if you don't watch that, uh, it's a uh, anime. Um, anyways, uh, I, I, that was a uh, bunch more damage. Again, he went tier five into the uh, Cav Phalanx. I, I find Cav Wedge a little bit better. I'm not sure about rallies though. It might be uh, not as good in rallies, but. Uh, just because, well, it's probably a little bit better. You're doing more damage in Cav Wedge just because your infantry is at the front. But again, that's uh, that's beside the point. Uh, so we're going to go into trap number three. Uh, trap number two did amazing taking those rallies on his tier three uh, rally trap. Uh, this one's not going to be a tier three rally trap. This is going to be a tier four rally trap. But this could be trap number three. Apparently someone tried to solo him. Uh, he is a 290 mil might uh, rally trap that this Titan tried to solo. Did not go too well for the Titan, obviously. Um, usually doesn't go well when you uh, blind solo a 300 mil might castle. Just just throwing it out there. Um, usually uh, usually you're not walking back, but maybe maybe this guy has some experience with walking back from uh, 300 mi million, million might uh, castles, but uh, if you're going to find a bunch of rally traps around that might so i wouldn't suggest it but again um you guys probably aren't all titans doing this anyway so anyways the rally is gonna be coming in quite soon this is from sg7 sg7 is gonna be rallying our trap number three again if you like this clip this is trap number three uh, again he's gonna be popping the 50 percent boost for this rally that's coming in here we'll take a look here see how uh how it's coming in yeah it looks like uh, tier four tier five a rally coming in here and he's he's deciding this is another thing he's deciding what uh phalanx so he wants to be in. does he want to be in wedge or does he want to be in phalanx again i prefer wedge if if i have to say but um it really depends on the rally because if they get through your cav and you're countering then they're going into your uh I think it's range, or no, it's no, it's infantry, so it's not too bad if they get into that, if they're sending infantry at you, so, and again, it's not the worst thing, but they could get into your infantry if they do enough damage, so that's kind of where you want to decide, but you are doing more damage in Cav Wedge than Cav Phalanx, just based on where your infantry is setting, so he was able to cap that, um, it looks like he only lost a couple hundred thousand might from that rally, so not too bad, uh, but they will be doing a rescue rally here, um, it looks like, uh, B, I don't even know how to say this, B U seven Amud one 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 is going to be the rally lead here, so he's going to be coming in for the uh, um, I guess rescue rally or the second rally here. Um, he's going to be splitting it just in case they uh, black wing, uh, because. In this situation, once they have his comp, because they did get the scout on him, even though he capped it, um, they did get the scout, so they know his comp. If they know his comp, what they can do is actually blackwing his front line because if he's a rain trap uh they'll see that and they'll be like oh it's a bunch of tier four so what you want to do is split it with the with a bunch of your guild mates because you might be losing some tier four if they end up throwing that blackwing because that blackwing just kills all the troops and as a rain trap it's the worst feeling when uh all your tier four troops all of a sudden uh, end up dead it's not so bad when it's tier two but when it's tier four it's really really expensive so uh the black the uh what's called rally is going to be coming in here he's going to pop the uh, 50 percent boost again here um, going to be taking this again th these leaders are really good by the way so these are some really good rally leads uh wow that's a lot of tier five so 800,000 tier five in this rally again he's going to sit into cav uh go cav wedge on it see how it goes but i think this rally is a little bit better uh we will be taking a little bit more damage or actually nope it was about the same <laughs> totally lied on that one so again it was a little bit more damage but i think they black wing nope yeah, they did Blackwing on that wing. So there was a Blackwing. So you can see there's a million deads there. But that was because the Blackwing, you see the rally lead there. Three Mythic Cups. Um, again, that was the first rally. So um, and he did get a bunch of uh, what's called uh, speed ups for that. So he got a good ransom. Uh, got all that stuff to heal back from that Blackwing again. A uh, million damage or a million deads because of the Blackwing. And this is going to be trap number four. So trap number four is a rally trap as well. Um, unfortunately for them, they were actually offline during this rally. So um, they were actually sitting offline. It looks like super Tashi. So uh, Sneaky Tashi here is going to be coming in. He's going to be the rally lead on this guy. Uh, 
he uh the person the trap itself is not recording this one because again he was offline he got online just after the rally hit because everyone was calling him but unfortunately for him he did take this uh offline um i don't think he countered or anything like that but um he w is going to be able to cap it i believe so we'll take a look and see how it goes so super tashi's gonna be coming in here uh it is not a uh it is not a double rally by the way because um let's see uh, I think the other rally is a fake rally. So it looks like it's double rally, but it's not. It's, it's actually a single rally here uh, from Super Tash. The other one was actually a fake rally. So uh, I'm not sure what, what, what was going on with the other guy, but he said a fake rally. So um, again, uh, he was able to cap it. It looks like uh, he's got Super Tashi's leader here. So he's got Sneaky Tashi's leader in there. So really good job capping a offline rally here by uh, Purdy Shrubs or what's it called? Trap number four. Again, I'm not saying their actual names until after the, uh, what's called voting is gone. This is trap number four. If you are voting for a trap, um, he was able to cap uh, Super Tashi's rally here. They did end up, uh, what's called, setting a uh, what's called rescue rally after this. I think it was like a triple rally or something like that. But here it comes. Looks like Super Tashi went in here. Uh, 2.9 million. Again, he was offline, so he wasn't countering or anything like that. Um, I think, I'm not sure if Super Tashi countered himself on this one or not, but um, he did end up black winging him. Yeah, so again, uh, he did end up doing that. So yeah, he yeah again, he wasn't online. So he was in infantry, took an infantry hit in, into his infantry. Um, I don't think he was even in gear at this point but you can see super tashi with his double 11k heroes and his tier 5 familiars and his mythic champ and all that stuff so um get I, I mean everyone knows who super tashi is so they know they know how good of a rally lead he actually is and how strong his account is but again he did really good was able to cap that offline um not countering or anything like that so um yeah really good job the trap number four here you can see the trap number four is comp he is set up as a rally trap did quite <laughs> did lose a bunch of his infantry there but again uh that was uh mostly just because he was offline and he did get online here um they did set a triple but um that ended up canceling and stuff like that so this is gonna be trap number five so this can be our last trap of the day uh trap number five is actually a very low might rally trap so he's gonna be taking a triple so uh, trap number five is not recording um the 600 mil might is not the trap itself uh someone else was recording for him because he was a little busy uh, taking the rally here so uh, he is a 208 million might uh, castle um, I could be wrong, but we will see it briefly in this video. So again, uh, again, he wasn't recording, so you don't see his might right away. But um, he does have full reigns here. Um, they are trying to time this rally, so all the rallies hit all at once here. Um, but they do not do a very good job. Some of the rallies kind of hit one at a time, so he's able to heal in between. Also, uh, he's able to get some reinforcements in between, so get full reinforcements through this. Um, but yeah, he's like a 208 million might, um, 207 now, but uh, I think he was like 208 million before this rally started hitting. Uh, but yeah, he dropped down a little bit after the first rally. Not too much, actually. And the second rally came in there. Uh, he's down to 205 now, so he only dropped 2 million might in the second rally. So I think he dropped 1 million might in the first rally, 2 million might, in, or 3 million might in the second, or 2 million might in the second. And then the third rally uh came in and i think it burned him because it got a walk back so uh, again the uh rally uh what's called what's called person here who was watching did not actually uh record the the uh, what's called third rally because he wasn't actually in the third rally so uh this is the, the first rally i think yeah not too much damage just a little bit of damage you can see how small this comp is to be able to take these rallies and eat them um but yeah he was able to take three or he was able to almost cap three rallies at uh 208 million might so really good job to trap number uh Five. This is trap number five, by the way. So our last trap of the day. And then, yeah, you can see the rally there. Only 64,000 dead on the second one. So able to take this triple rally. Not really lose too much might. I uh, did end up, uh, what's called, I did he? Oh, I maybe poured it away on the last one. But I thought they got a walk back. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the top traps. And I'll show you how to vote right now. Hey, so if you guys want to vote for your top traps, go to my channel. Click over to the community tab on my channel. It will have the, uh, what's called, uh, 
<laughs> all my uh, posts here on here. Uh, scroll down to where the uh, voting will be. I have not put the poll up yet. It will be up right after this video ends. Then you can vote for your top traps. I will have traps one to five on there. Um, just like in my previous here. Uh, let me scroll down here. Uh, the top trap finals here. So you can see my top last top trap finals. It looks like, uh, who was it? Uh, Trap number three one, which was Billy the Trap. And I will tell you who the traps are after, but there will be a vote here. It'll be trap one to five. Uh, vote for your favorite trap. Um, again, I will have the timestamps for each trap in the video. So um, if you forget which one you like the best, just go to the timestamp. It will be in the description below the video. Um, just click on the timestamp for that and then you'll find it out. Um, I think I actually had, uh, where was it? Um, let me go to this for a second. Uh, one second. Yeah, if I go to this, go down. And yeah, you can see all the uh, timestamps here. Uh, I did this for the last one, but it will be the same for this video. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I will have some more videos coming out later this week. And I'll see you guys in the next one.